What if there was another Earth in the solar system? Every person in the world has at least five different twins who can look like you as two drops of water. If so, why couldn't we just imagine that somewhere in the universe our planet has its own twin sister, similar to ours in size, atmosphere, and perhaps in its inhabitants? It seems that this was the reasoning of the inhabitants of ancient Greece, who believed that in the solar system there is a planet very similar to Earth which is located on the other side of the Sun. This planet was named Anti-Earth because of its location. Of course, the theory of the Anti-Earth has been completely rejected by modern scientists, Although the idea of an Earth-like world is still very intriguing for those scientists who begin to look for such a planet in the far corners of the universe. And of course, they did find it! And not just one! The most similar planet to Earth was Kepler-438b, which is located 470 light-years from our planet. Although the planet is similar to Earth in many ways, it suffers from the powerful radiation of its star, which casts doubt on the existence of any life on it. In addition to Kepler-438b, Earth's twin sister may be the planet Proxima Centauri b, which, by the way, is next to the closest star to the Sun. However, like Kepler-438b, the planet suffers from the strongest bursts of radiation from its star, the last of which occurred only a few years ago. Scientists believe that such an outbreak could destroy all life that could exist on this poor planet. The next potential candidate for life is the planet Gilles 581g, which is located about 20 light years from our Sun. The planet is much older than Earth, and its age is about 7 billion years. Moreover, the average temperature on its surface is about negative 20 degrees Celsius. Brrr. Despite the fact that this planet is not a resort at all, this planet remains to be one of the most similar candidates to be an Earth-like planet. Okay, I suppose there are enough planets in the universe which probably look like our home. But what if there was such a planet in our solar system? Where should it be located? What climate would we see there? And could it be inhabited by someone? Well, our planet is located in the best place for occurrence of life on it. The fact is that for the emergence of life, we need to observe several important conditions at once. So the planet must be located not too far from the Sun, otherwise it would simply freeze. The orbits of Venus and Mercury may be too hot for any life to occur there, while conditions on more distant Mars are already much colder than on our planet. In addition, Earth 2.0 should be able to move in its own orbit without colliding with nearby planets. Due to the fact that Venus is located closer to Earth than the planet Mars by almost two times, the ideal orbit for the Earth's twin could be the orbit located between modern Earth and Mars. Otherwise, the fictional Earth 2.0 could just one day meet our planet and arrange an enchanting show with fireworks from the planets. The spectacle, of course, would be really cool. However, the inhabitants of the planets would hardly appreciate it. That's sad. Anyway, what kind of climate could be on Earth 2.0? It is known that the farther a planet is located from the Sun, the colder its climate becomes. This can be compared to a burning fireplace in a large house, the warmth of which warms you only if you are relatively close to it. The farther you sit away from it, the colder you feel. The same thing happens with planets. The farther a planet is removed from the Sun, the more it freezes. Negative indications of this phenomenon can be smoothed out by a dense atmosphere that can retain heat. A similar phenomenon can be observed on Titan, Saturn's moon. Due to the fact that Titan is located at a very big distance from the Sun, its surface temperature is about negative 179 degrees Celsius. However, such a low temperature may seem like paradise due to the presence of a dense methane atmosphere on Titan, which does not allow the temperature to fall even lower. So the temperature on the nearest neighbor of Titan, Enceladus, is negative 240 degrees Celsius due to the almost complete absence of an atmosphere on this ice bevel. Most likely, life on the planet located between the orbits of Earth and Mars would be different than the usual conditions for us. The warmest and most comfortable places to live would be the equatorial regions of the planet, while the rest of the second Earth would be an ice-bound kingdom forever. Well, I think that the inhabitants of such a planet would like to get to us for the summer holidays. And who knows, they probably would want to conquer us because of our almost perfect climate. 
Wow. It seems that we are really lucky that the planet Earth 2.0 exists only in our imagination. Otherwise, we could be eyewitnesses to the real Star Wars just because of the fact that Darth Vader from another planet would simply like to sunbathe more often than he could do on its own more distant from the Sun Earth. Do you think we could make friends with the inhabitants of another Earth in our solar system? Let's try to discuss it right below this video in the comments. And by the way, don't forget to push the like button and subscribe to the Smart Banana channel. See you next time.